Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to look into the mainframe file system. So in mainframe, the files are called as data sets. The files are classified into two types, PS and PDS. PS stands for physical sequential, which is just like a text file. Whereas PDS is called as partition data set. It is similar to a folder in Windows. So PDS or partition data set can contain a large number of physical sequential files in it. Now we are going to look into how we are going to create a flat files that is PS and PDS in mainframe systems. After logging into the mainframe system, this is the first screen or the ISPF primary option menu which will be displayed. So from here we have to choose the option 3 to create the data sets or physical sequential files in the mainframe system. So three option 3 is utilities. So here you can see the choices. So in the second choice it is data set allocate, rename, delete, catalog, uncatalog or display information of an entire data set. I am choosing the option 2 to create the data set. So we have to provide the option A for allocating new data set and I am giving the data set name here. So mate kn is my first qualifier which is provided by my vendor and I am creating I am giving my own name MF Daddy, the second qualifier, and in the third qualifier, I am giving the uh, name of the file. So it is a PS, since it is a PS file, I am giving it as PS, PS file, PS file 10. Let it be 10. So this Medkin is first qualifier, MF Daddy is second qualifier, PS file 10 is third qualifier. So this is how we will be creating a file in a mainframe with qualifiers. So this entire thing is a file name, Medkin MF Daddy dot PS file 10 is entirely a file name. I am giving enter. After I am giving enter. It will take you to the next screen allocate new data set here you can leave management class as blank storage class as blank and volume serial it is uh, dev hd4 here device type you can give it as leave it as blank and space units since i'm going to create it as physical sequential file i'm giving it as tracks so tracks are the smaller units in mainframe and the primary quantity, I'm going to give it as 5 and secondary quantity, I'm going to give it as 5 and directory blocks, we have to leave it as 0. Direct blocks, we have to leave it as 0 for sequential data sets. That is physical sequential file. We are going to create a PS file or physical sequential file. So we are leaving this directory block value as 0 and record format, it is fixed block. And record length, the entire screen length of mainframe system is 80 by default and uh, I'm giving record length as 80 as default value and uh, block size I'm giving 10 times of the record length. So it is 800 and data set name since it is PS file I'm, I'm clearing of the PDS here. So I'm going to give you enter. The right hand corner you can notice data set allocated. Now I am going to check whether my data set is created or not. I am copying the uh, data set name, copying it. I am going back by pressing F3. Here you can see the option 4 DS list. I am choosing option 4. I am clearing of the already present value. I am entering the data set name. So my data set is created here. Now I want to write into this data set. That is I am going to edit this data set by giving E in command. So here you will see some warning message which you can clear by giving the reset command. And to enter any data into the 
file you have to give command i here and after that you can type in anything so ps is nothing but a text file so you can type in anything you want save the file will be saved in the right hand top corner you can see data set saved again i'm coming out of this file now i'm viewing it so it is having that text so this is how we have to create a ps file so this is the basic step in mainframes so any jcl programs or uh, cobol programs which we are going to write we are going to write it through the help of ps file we are going to store it in a ps file and we are going to use it next is i'm going to show how we are going to create the pds or partition data set so again i'm going to the first screen very first screen very first screen or primary option menu screen here i'm choosing options 3 again i'm coming to the option 2 data set i'm giving a for allocating data set here i'm giving the name of the data set that is pds file pds 10 pds 10 so these names are user defined names except for the first qualifier so i'm giving enter so again it will take take you to the allocate new data set screen since i'm going to create it as a pds i'm going to give the space unit as cylinders c i c y l s and in primary quantity i'm going to give it as 10 and in secondary quantity i'm going to give it as 10 and directory block i'm going to give it as 5 so only when we are giving the value for directory blocks the data set will be created as a pds we are not giving any value to the directory blocks the data set will be created as a ps file only and uh, record format it can be fb and record length it can be 80 and block size it can be 800 and in the data set name type i can give it as pds here and i'm pressing enter in the right top again you can notice data set allocated now i'm going to check whether this pds file is created or not i came back by pressing f3 and now i'm choosing option 4 here i'm clearing off the already present value by pressing end button i'm pasting the data set name giving enter i'm trying to open the empty pds file so in the right top you can notice no members in the data set so now i'm going to create one member inside this pds i'm giving the name as member1 i'm inserting records into it so this is first ps file or member1 present inside the pds so pds is like a container which can hold several ps in it so members are nothing but ps which is present in the pds so i have created one member now i am going to view it by giving the come in command i am giving b for viewing it so you can see one member is present inside it now again i am opening it and seeing it so so this is the first ps file or member one present inside the pds now i am going to create another member again i am giving e i am giving member two so these are user defined names which should not exceed eight characters you can type in any name for your members I'm giving reset 
and I'm inserting this is member 2 or ps file to create it inside a PDS. See. So now I'm viewing it. It should have two members inside inside these inside this PDS. So now you can see two members inside this PDS. So this is how we are going to create this is how we will create a PS and PDS in mainframes. So this is the most fundamental step or this is most the basic step before getting into the coding part this is the most important thing which we should know so creating a ps and pds should be the first thing which we should learn in the upcoming videos you are going to see the fundamentals on jcl please do like share and support and subscribe our channel thanks for watching this video thank you